Hi, this is Steve Zahr from Zahr Dental Lab. This video is going to be a series of more than one video regarding customizing molar bands. We we'll begin with the video is, um, as you see, this molar band is too big for the prepped model, the prepped molar. So in order to do this, we're going to have to make some quick adjustments. The first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to cut the band on the lingual side. In this um, instance, I'm going to actually shrink the band. So I'll go to my handy dandy spot waller, put it on low power, and I will meld the seam together. Then I'll trial size fit the band. Um, the correct pressure that you want to put is just fingertip pressure. When you go to seat a band, if you can't get it on, it's too tight. It will never fit in the child's mouth. And if it's obviously too loose, you won't be able to push it down. It'll just fall in the model. So a nice snug fit. That's um, probably the right word you want is snug. Not too tight, not too loose, but just a little snug. On this particular case, I'm going to weld a lingual bar for a Hyrax. The first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to spot weld it. And I'm going to spot weld right on the seam that I made when I cut the band. This way, when I put solder on it, everything flows in and the solder becomes one with the band, which makes it so much stronger. And here I'm just taking the steps, I'm just um, spot welding my Hyrax to the molar band in my lingual bars. Now here I'm just preparing for soldering using my heat shield and flux. And the next step is obviously I soldered the band. Now here you can see where the seam is that I recreated. By shrinking the band, I created a seam. And I'll point it out to you right about here. So like you can actually see the seam. And this is after I finished it. So right there, the seam is now finished with a burr. So everything blends in. The next step is a, a real fast and easy way to make the glue adhere better is by micro etching the bands. So I micro etched the band and you can actually see that the seam is pretty much seamless. And that's exactly what you want. Um, it's real strong right there because you can see on the other side of the solder joint is where the solder is. When placing my Hyrax onto the model I like to get a little snap fit. And there I know that the bands will fit really nice in the patient's mouth. I hope this video helps you. And in the next video of this series, I'm going to show you how to enlarge a band that doesn't fit properly. Hi, this is Steve Zara from Zara Dental Lab. Thanks for watching this video. And if you want to see some other orthodontic videos, leave a comment and let me know. And remember to subscribe to the channel, like, and share.